stand here today with some of the happiest news that we have waited three years for is that he has finally received justice. For me, it only solidifies the loss. The loss that I, I'll never get to see my boy again. As we learn to move forward, we're never going to move on. But as we learn to move forward in our lives, we're never going to let him go. Defense. Some incredibly powerful statements from the parents of Gannon Stauk after a judge handed down a verdict and sentence to his murderer, the little boy's murderer, his own stepmother, Letitia Stauk. Thanks so much for joining us for Denver 7 News at 6. I'm Andrew Heal. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Today, Letitia Stauk was sentenced to two life sentences without parole for the premeditated murder of her stepson, Gannon. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon is joining us live outside that courthouse tonight. And Colette, it's a verdict family members have waited on for years. They've waited on it this day for more than three years, Anne and Shannon, and so has this entire community here in Colorado Springs. It was a packed courtroom, so many community members in there, and honestly, the sniffles at some point outweighed the statements that were being given during her sentencing, which like you guys said, she got life in prison with no possibility of parole. She got that charge twice. Now, Letitia, as she heads off to the Department of Corrections, she chose not to give any statements to the court, but Gannon's mother got up there and said she wouldn't say Letitia ruined her life because that would be some kind of sick victory for her. She said she will never understand the hatred that Letitia's heart holds. For more than three years, she's tried to forgive her, but she can't. She wants to, but she took away the most precious gift in this world and destroyed dozens of lives while doing so. Meanwhile, Al Stout, Gannon's father, also spoke to the court, saying he refuses to allow anger to poison his soul or to live in that pain every day. He broke down when talking about Gannon Stout and trying to speak to his son, saying he would have never left him if he knew his son was in danger. He would have stayed and protected him. Now, the whole central question of this case, Letitia Stauk was pleading not guilty by reason of insanity. The jury ultimately decided she was sane when she committed the murder of Gannon Stauk. He was stabbed 18 times, hit over the head four times, shot at three times. One of those bullets did go into his chin. All of that was done in his bedroom and his body was ultimately found in Pensacola, Florida. Now we did get to hear from Al and Landon again during a press conference just hours ago at this point, just under an hour ago, I suppose. And they're moving on. Like they said, they're moving forward. They're not moving on with their lives. Every day will be dedicated to Gannon. We have a foundation for Gannon. Um, I hope to put some work in it. Um, so some other families, especially in Colorado and back in hometown, do not have to go through the things that the families go through. I hope the world can be a better place and I hope we can have Gannon's name and Gannon's foundation as a forefront or a blueprint to help others, if that makes sense, because that's all that he would want to do and that's all he did and is still doing is helping others. I just want to go home and live that joy I talked about with my six kids and Melissa, I can barely see her back there, but she's what makes my world go round and I just, I just want to go home. The judge did say that some of the facts in this case are the most horrific he's ever seen. He also said that Letitia Stauk pleading not guilty by reason of insanity and using mental illness as some of the reason for why she committed this murder is a betrayal to people who actually live with real mental illness. Guys.